Should we go out and explore? I would love that. Do we still need rest? Dodge this one! Keep them coming! Awesome! You block, I'll hit. Ooh. Are you alright? I'll keep them at bay. Ooh. He lowered his guard. You! He's getting worn out. You know what to do. On it. I got this. Uh. Now shoot! He lowered his guard. This one's ready. Yep. Your turn. I got this. Bye bye. That's how we rock. Bon appetit. What is this thing? Oh look, a cave. All right. This this I can't it's almost I'm picking up a I'm no need. Thunderous applause! Mm, this one doesn't look very good. Let's not judge based on appearances. Ooh, we were right. Looks like the birds already had a crack at it. As long as they're leaving some for us. We're too quick for them. Last time. I'm watching you. Doesn't this remind you of truth a bit? Are you saying that because it's all empty? It's not all empty. It's pristine. It's nice to see a place that the apiary hasn't ruined, don't you think? Yeah, that's true. One. You got this? You bet I do. Ah! He's getting worn out. Your turn. Got this. Ugh. Are you alright? One left. Three, two, one. Now! Take cover! This one's tough. Maybe try something else. I got your back. Sweet. What's up? Getting tired? I'm not really blocking 
any longer. Shielding. Perfect. He's getting worn out. <gasps> Square in the face. <clears throat> oh, did I miss? Don't think so. You're safe. Nice. Careful. Guard. This one's ready. Yep. Done and done. Done and done. Reminds me of someone. Oh, whatever. One looks suspicious. Requesting permission to sample? Granted. Hey, did you check if those apple juice we ate last were fresh? Because I think I'm hallucinating. Right now I'm in the middle of nowhere, and I see a Wadoos turbine. Uh, I'm not sure what a Wadoos turbine looks like, but I'm seeing something as well. <sighs> Blute! It's real! I have been dreaming of adding this turbine to the nest! But they stopped producing them over 20 years ago. And I wasn't the only one seeking them out. What are they for? I mean, it's a turbine. It does turbine things. Obviously. But this one does a particularly good job at it. I'm guessing you'd like to go back and test it on the nest. You're reading my mind. Need help carrying it? Please. So, turbine doing its thing? Give me a minute. Come on. A job well done. There we go. Now, we'll never need to recharge the nest ever again. It can draw its flow directly from the ground. Is that safe? Nothing is safe, Kay. That's what makes life so exciting. Huh. But it's pretty safe. Rather unlikely to blow up the nest or anything. Rather unlikely? <laughs> well, we made it all the way here. That was rather unlikely. And yet, look at us. So right now you're telling me that it's entirely possible it might blow up the nest. Okay, I might have got a little confused in the way of my argument there. But I have been working on this for two hours, and I'm tired and sore everywhere. Speaking of which, I think I deserve a massage. What do you say? I'd say it's rather unlikely. Is that rather unlikely as in rather unlikely the nest will blow up? Or rather unlikely as in rather unlikely we made it all the way here? You'll see. It's 
growing, slowly but surely. Okay. Fancy. For real? You like it? I half expected you to complain, like, it's dead animal bits or whatever. But he's not dead. Live animal bits, then. Okay, now that you mention it, it is weird. What? A dead bit of live animal? Okay, stop it before I change my mind.
You okay? Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking. Do you want to talk about it? No. Okay. turn is it to clean out the shower? If you have to ask, that means it's yours. A harmony bun? Really? Why not? Isn't that supposed to be reserved for matchmaking ceremonies? Well, yeah. But I figured we aren't gonna have one of those anytime soon. And it would be a shame to let it go to waste. Pretty bad taste. Wanna bet? Try it. Okay. It's better than any of those I had in the apiary. Maybe because it doesn't have the bitter aftertaste? <laughs> yep. That would do it. Ready for the next chapter? Yes. Okay, where were we? The two ladies traveled billions of years into the past in order to create energy out of cow fossils. Oh yeah. So, they calibrated the machine to travel back in time. Minus 14 million years. But something goes awry. They read the manual backwards. Exactly. They find themselves 14 million years into the future. The world as they know it has completely disappeared. Their home planet has been entirely consumed by the expansion of its star, as well as the whole galaxy. They are the last remaining members of their species. So they start seeking out any other intelligent life form that might have survived, or any life form at all, even microscopic. But there's nothing, only the two of them. And the cows. Oh yeah, and the cows. So? So? So, they stare the emptiness of existence right in the face, fully comprehending the futility of everything they have ever done realizing that everything they hold to be true is wrong, and they decide that it's no big deal. They throw a huge party lasting until the end of time, because according to them, the end of time will be 4.30 a.m., and there's no one to tell them otherwise. The end. Well, they have a point. What? We can decide whatever we want, and no one can tell us otherwise. I decide that every day, is my birthday. I vote no. Mm, bloot. I didn't think of that. Uh, let's say that even days are my birthday and odd days are yours. Sold. Ooh, what's that smell? Could it be... Some apple brew? Thank you. 
Did you think about the fact that this might be our last night and that we just spent it getting hopped up on apple brew? Why would it be our last night? I don't know. You can never know. Tomorrow, another batch of hornets might show up and... <laughs> we'll kick their butts. <laughs> yes, maybe. But at the same time, maybe not. Seriously, though, don't you think about it? Yeah. Often. And? And what? Well, what do you say? I mean, what would you do if you knew that this was our last night on Source? Let's say our last day. I'll give you that. Do you want me to show you what I would do? <laughs> okay, I know. That's also the first thing that crossed my mind. But we can't do that for 24 hours straight. We need to take breaks. So, besides that, what would you do? That's a real question. Do I have time to think about it? Yeah, sure. Take your time. Mmm... I think that... I would stare at the stars. Oh yeah? I would locate the apiary planets with a telescope, and I would show them my butt. Seriously, though? Seriously? Same answer. I would go stare at the stars, as both a way to escape, and to look danger in the face. Infinite space, and in the middle of it all, the prison in which they want to keep us. I kind of like those contradictions. What would you like to do? Oh, no. I was thinking about a thing, but it'll sound lame by comparison. Oh, I doubt it. Yeah. You're always coming up with poetic stuff. Mine's just dumb. Just say it. I would take a stroll. A stroll? I told you it was lame. But in the end, I think that's what I would miss the most about Source. Sliding around with you, hand in hand. Discovering new places, or even just here, around the nest. Hopping on aerial flow threads, picking up apple dews as we go. What we usually do, I guess. I think that's what I would miss the most. The usual. Okay, I'll change my answer. Forget about the stars. I'd rather go on a stroll with you. Note that we could do both. Oof. You know what else we would have time for? A game of pick a bubble. Oh, please no. Yeah, come on! No, you. We're not gonna waste the last 24 hours of our lives playing pick a bubble. That's non negotiable. Not the whole 24 hours. We said during the breaks. Non negotiable. What about the day before the last day on Source? Okay. The last but one day. Great. I'll start thinking up a strategy overnight. Do you want to go lay down? No, thanks. I'm good right here. <laughs> Okay, it's time to go to sleep now. One second. Hmm, you're still trying to learn stuff about your slugs? I'm not learning, I'm watching. Hmm. It is truly beautiful. Hmm. And you know what's more beautiful? What? These slugs are completely blind. Like, they don't even know that they glow? Certainly not. That's crazy. <gasps> Do you think that we glow too? How so? I mean, not glow glow, but like, do we produce something? 
not necessarily perceptible to ourselves, but perceptible by, I don't know, another sense from another species. But you, that's all we do. Let's do this. Give me a random page number. Uh, 24. Hmm, not bad. Yeah, this one is a keeper. Should we go out and explore? I would love that. Here, Burble. I made a nice creamberry fondue just for you. Is this place? Verbal? This isn't at all the place we asked for. Are you lost or something? Well, she was probably all hopped up on creamberries. We need to figure out where we are. Hold on. Let me guess. No rust in sight. No critter trying to pounce on us. A nice camping spot. A smell of creamberry. We are in heaven. And we're back. Starting to get bored. Now I can start playing for real. You thought you were so sly. Nice, nice. That's some good growing. This one has a hilarious shape. <laughs> For real. This is a pretty one. Make sure they don't get squished. I got a big one.
thought it smelled good around here. We almost missed this one. Signature move, perfect execution, 10 out of 10. Oh, I just felt a raindrop, but the sky is still pretty clear. Sorry, my bad. My armpits are sweating a bit. For here or to go? To go. Too bad. at work now I'm hungry I know right I really like this smell it's almost like freshly cut grass except it isn't cut so just grass I guess Thank you for showing us around, Burble, but we really have to go. Perfect landing. As always. Don't mind us. We're just passing through. Do be careful, though. We might pass again. Whoop, whoop! You want some good flow? Why do you think the grass is yellow? You won't believe me. Try me. I have no idea. All right. Are you ready to bring the hypo propellers home? Ready when you are. So let's go. Okay, let's get to work. Yum. <sighs> you sleepy? No, no. I'm just unwinding. One piece left, and we'll be ready for takeoff. So, as the mistress of the house, how do you like it? <gasps> yes! 
This looks a whole bloop better now. I'm sorry. Take two. That wasn't a very mistressy answer. <clears throat> well, sir, I dare say that these lanterns and curtains in the entranceway are adding an undeniable flair to this humble ship. Oh, do they? My lady, I do declare these tapestries were hand-sewn from the utmost luxurious bath towels. Delightful. And these luminaries were handcrafted using the ancient art of papier-mâché. You don't say. Truly, Master K, you have worked some miracles. Uh, I cannot wait to observe what you have achieved with the interior adornments. If you would please follow me into the bedroom. Oh ho, Master K. How cavalier. I am sorry, my dear. I don't know what came over me. Might your presence be giving me vertigo, as it were? That was nonsense. Carry on with the scene. Oh. <clears throat> what do you say we take a look at the dining room? I am eager to discover the delectable feast which your kitchen clerks have prepared for us. Yes. <clears throat> I'm afraid my clerks have taken leave for the day. Thus, we shall content ourselves with your own cooking talents, as I am sure you would never allow for a lady's stomach to stand idle. I wouldn't dare. Is this it? That was fast. No, enough. We already gave you some. Another one. Look up there. That came down nearby. Maybe one fragment away tops. Do you think that was another hornet? We need to be careful until we know for sure. There can't be a fault line on each bleeding fragment. No. The vibrations are likely propagating through the flow. Also, earthquakes aren't necessarily the result of fault lines. Yeah? What else can it be? Volcanic activity, for example. Oh, well how reassuring. 
I can't wait to fly over all this in the nest. Source from the sky. Th that there. Look. That's the Heliga. Oh, looks like the rust got to him too. This could be our chance. This does not look good. On your mark? Now! Blue. Your turn. I got this. You know what to do? Oh, yeah. Are you alright? Shield. Ah. We've managed to wear him down. Watch out. Uh. You're safe! This one's ready! On it! Luke! Where did he come from? Uh. That looks bad! Bam! They're up to some- yeah. Now what? You got this? You bet I do! Boom, baby! Uh. Oh, Blue! He's ripe for the picking! Harvey, oh no! Are you all right? Looks like he's calming down. Great job. You're welcome. Yes! One left. Ready? <laughs> you! Now is not the time to take a breather. Ready when you are. All set. <gasps> oh, Bloot! You like that? Watch out! You block, I'll hit. Go, go, K! Meet my boyfriend. No. Are you all right? Now is not the time to take a breather. That'll teach him. Shielding! Perfect. Are you okay? Poor Heliga. Okay! Ooh. You're safe. Nice. Now is not the time to take a breather. If anyone had ever told me I'd be fighting a Heliga... Bam! Next time, you're blocked. <laughs> Shield up! He's calling his friends. Nice one. He's getting weak. Let's take advantage. Let's get it over with. And done. One down. One left. No way. Eat it. Bam. Booyah. Dodge this one. You know what to do. I got this. Your turn. Yep. Done and done. Who's next? Oof. This allegedly non-existent creature sure packs a bluten punch. Just spare me the sarcasm. I'm injured too. What the? Uh, do you feel like... Like, really good right now? Yep. Huh. <laughs> I'm sure glad that this Heliga does exist. <sighs> it dropped a feather. We need to keep it. It brings good luck. I thought you didn't believe in that stuff. Right now, I'm ready to believe in anything. Bingo!
got this. Are you okay? Nice shot. You know what? Cover me. Got it. That looks bad. Bye bye. Ah, that one must have hurt. This one's ready. I'm off. My shield is out. Are you okay? Go, girl. Well done. Hey, have Ha! In your face! Next time you're blocking. You know what to do. I got this. I got your back. Sweet. See you around. One left. Get back. Ugh. You! Ooh. On your mark. Got him! Ooh. He lowered his guard. Your turn. Yep. Now shoot. We're that good. We're gonna get stuffed. This one is nice and ripe. Are we saving those for later? Of course! For the picking. Harvest time. There you go. That was easy. In the jackpot. And voila. Wanna go in? You, come over here. You're gonna like this. Looks like my room as a teenager during my Roboglam phase. I had exactly the same poster. The Acrobots? That's not very Roboglam. Hey, you can have blute tasting clothes but still appreciate the classics. True. The Acrobots really stood the test of time. Well, they did have to change drummers recently because it's motherboard fried. I was talking about their music. Oh, of course. <laughs> Me too. a little rotten, isn't it? You're a little rotten. Huh? Sorry, was it reflex? Anytime! 
Now! We've been spotted. You can't catch us that easily. All set. Go, go, go! Nothing? Nothing. On your mark? Now! We got nothing from this one. Tight wad. All good. We're out of reach. Oh my. Ready when you are. Ready. Shielding. Perfect. Target luck. Watch out. Uh. Are you okay? Bam! You know what to do. I got this. I got... Uh. Done and done. Woo! My shield is out. Ooh. That looks bad. Eat it! Airfall! You got this? You bet I do. Are you all right? Boom! But I'll keep them in. Oh, Blute! You? Yep. Saw that. Oh. You! Bye-bye. One to go. Are you all right? Uh. Are you okay? Uh. Bad. He's right for the picking. Harvest. Let's get it over with. And done. We make a good team. I think we found a shortcut. I vote yes.
So, are we gonna talk about it, or...? About? You. Your medal. Source. What? I can't believe this isn't nagging at you. It's nagging at me. How come an item that evidently came from Source found its way around the neck of an apiary kid? <sighs> Don't you remember where you found it? No. And I already told you it was mine when I was a kid. I already had it when the home took me in. And before that? Before what? I don't remember. I was too young. All right, Kay. You might think I'm crazy, but have you considered the possibility that you... Might have been born on Source? Yeah. I've been mulling it over since we opened that door. It's a plausible hypothesis. My parents might have been part of the Source settlers, and I would have been evacuated, though they weren't. That would explain the home, this key around my neck. And? What do you think? It would be pretty reassuring in a way. I've always been told that my parents abandoned me, without any explanation. I think if I had the choice, I'd prefer the Source Settler story. Even if that would also mean they probably died here. <sighs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? No. No. I don't think so. I think it's normal to think that. But I guess... I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how I would react in the same situation. I don't know either. <sighs> you know... I don't think I would mind it if you were born on Source. I've always dreamed of meeting a handsome stranger from another planet. Ugh, we still don't know what was in the last cocoon that fell out of the sky. This is bothering you, isn't it? Uh, yes, 